What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Vince Warburton and this is BW Fitness. Today we're going to talk about the Optimum Nutrition 100% Gold Standard Way. Let's get to it. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe and bell for notifications before we get into today's video. For those of you returning or my subscribers, welcome back. Obviously, we are in a different setting. We are downstairs actually in the home gym. I thought I would shoot a review kind of down here, let you guys kind of see what I'm working with because obviously we've all been stuck in quarantine now. Obviously, a lot of places are starting to open up. Hopefully, the gyms open up, you know, in due time, I will say that. Uh, not too fast, not too slow. Kind of find that right medium ground. Uh, but for, in the meantime, this is what we're working with. Pretty much just have matting back here. We have some bands on the wall and some hooks, along with a bar to attach to the bands to be able to do some pulls, some pull downs, um, and, and kind of some squat work. And that's kind of it. And then a lot of body weight work. We just finished up a full body workout, over an hour workout down here. Uh, it's starting to get pretty hot and humid here in Texas. So uh, yeah, bring on the heat, baby. I I've heard it gets even hotter. So um, yeah, let's get into this, guys. Now, obviously, we have a sample pack here. I, I kind of mentioned it in my last video. We're going to be doing kind of a lot of protein, uh, non-pre-workout reviews. And so you know, I figured what better time than a post-workout in, in the garage gym and uh, yeah, give you guys a full review of this one. Now, this is kind of a classic. This is actually one of the first proteins I ever tried uh, when I started like lifting and, and started drinking protein shakes back in like, 2006 um, and so you know it's a standard but obviously there's a lot more supplement companies now uh, than there were back then and um, yeah let's go ahead and jump into this review if you guys are new to the channel we break down the supplement review into three different parts we're going to talk about number one price number two the label ingredient breakdown and then lastly we'll talk about the taste we do have a shaker cup here uh, like I said guys we're working with kind of makeshift kind of setup here obviously don't have the, uh, the full YouTube studio. So let's get right into it, guys. Price, this comes in at $30.99 right off of their website, OptimumNutrition.com. That is for a two pound tub, and within that tub, with this flavor, it is 29 full servings. Uh, this is the double rich chocolate, kind of a standard kind of uh, taste or, or flavor, if you will. Um, with that price point, it's gonna work out to about $1.07 a serving, which in my opinion, I think is a great price. I think if you can stay right around that dollar price range, I said that before in my, in my previous review, uh, that's kind of where I like to see proteins. Now, again, proteins are kind of weird because like pre-workouts, you can justify it. If it's a really great pre-workout, you're willing to pay whatever the price. Uh, protein is kind of the same way. Like you really want high quality protein. You don't really want cheap stuff uh, because you are like putting it into your body. You know, you can argue that all day. Um, it is subjective, but in my opinion, I think it is really important to make sure that you're getting high quality protein. And with Optimum Nutrition, I know that they do do a good job uh, with a lot of their products. Some of their products, not so much, but with their proteins, I've, I've always been kind of happy with it. So uh, with the price point, I'm gonna give it a five out of five, and let's just jump right into the label ingredient breakdown, guys. So like I said, we got this little packet here. I don't have a full kind of thing, but we'll pop up the label now. And uh, we start out with 120 calories, kind of a standard. You know, you typically see right around 110 to 140, sometimes 150, 160 in terms of calories when it comes to protein, depending on, on the kind of protein. Uh, but yeah, 120 calories here, one and a half grams of fat, uh, which includes 0.5 grams of saturated fat, 35 milligrams of cholesterol, 50 milligrams of sodium, that's pretty low, I would say, for a protein, uh, 3 grams of carbs with less than 1 gram of fiber and 1 gram of sugar, and then 24 grams of protein. Now, uh, there's some vitamins and minerals, calcium, iron, potassium in here as well, kind of add in a little bit. And then um, in terms of the ingredients, we have a protein blend. Now, I don't know if it's always been a protein blend. I, I don't recall it being a protein blend. Back in the day, I, I thought it was just a, a protein concentrate, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it is a blend now. And the first whey protein is a whey, whey protein isolate. Then we have a whey protein concentrate and then a whey peptides. Okay, that's gonna kind of complete the protein blend here. Uh, we have some cocoa powder, uh, lecithin, natural and artificial flavors, acesulfane, potassium, and lactase. It does contain milk and soy. Obviously, it is a uh, not a vegan protein here. So, you know, pretty standard label. Not a lot of ingredients, which I will say I will applaud them. Uh, obviously, some proteins can get really heavy with a lot of lot of different flavoring and, and things that they put in there to obviously make consistency and whatnot. So, uh, in, in terms of the label, I mean, you're three grams of carbs, uh, one and a half grams of fat, kind of a standard. So, I'm going to give it a four out of five. I mean, is it great? 
I would have liked to see just a whey protein isolate personally, but they do sell a, a straight up whey protein isolate. So that's kind of, you know, again, subjective and kind of preference uh, here. And I think isolate does digest a little bit better than whey protein concentrate. So um, yeah, just something to kind of think about. So let's move into the taste guys. Like I said, we have the double, double rich chocolate here. And um, this does recommend six to eight ounces of water. We do have seven ounces of water here approximately in our official VW Shaker Cup, which by the way, the website is still live. You guys can still check those out. www.vwfitness.club. Okay, I'll say this about uh, Optimum Nutrition because I think I've had their protein recently, not, not within the last month, but pretty recently. Um, their, their protein always mixes really well. It's a really fine kind of protein powder and it's not really thick, so here we go. So yeah, like I said, guys, as you guys can see here, consistency is, is really, really, you know, it's obviously with water, but even with like a lot of my ghost protein shakes with the recommended amount of water, it does get pretty thick. Uh, with this protein, it is pretty watery, uh, pretty easy to drink and not too thick. So mixability, pretty solid. Obviously nothing really here on the bottom and uh, we'll give this a nice good taste test. Cheers. All right, so it has that kind of natural kind of chocolate flavoring here, not overly sweet. Like I said, very watered down here. Um, and that is with the recommended amount of water, which is pretty minimal. Seven ounces of water, not a lot. I mean, it's only about right there, as you guys kind of saw. Um, it's not overly sweet, which I think a lot of people would appreciate. I think it'll mix really well with a lot of like protein shakes, like if you're trying to mix with berries or, or whatnot, obviously chocolate, maybe not so much, but uh, you know, like their vanilla, etc. I think a good way to kind of sneak in some protein into those, uh, you know, uh, blended shakes, if you will. Overall, the taste is not like extraordinary. Um, I, you know, I would drink it, obviously. I'm gonna drink it. It's 24 straight up grams of protein, which I need to get in today, obviously post-workout here. Um, overall, I'm gonna give the taste like a three out of five now. Again, very subjective when it comes to protein, but at the same time, this is like, that's the biggest key takeaway for me with this protein is that the way it mixes up is very, very, very simple, very easy, very light. So you can really just throw this into anything and it'll mix really, really well. Protein pancakes, those sort of things, protein waffles, I would recommend something a little bit thicker. Uh, with this, this is pretty fine. Like I said, that protein is really, really fine. So um, yeah, three out of five here, guys. Overall, like I said, not a bad protein. Uh, definitely solid and you know, 24 grams protein, pretty low fat, uh, low carb and, and minimal ingredients. I will say that. I think a lot of people are trying to look for those minimal ingredient kind of proteins. So definitely one, one here and price point, kind of sits right there at that dollar price price per serving, which I think is great. So yeah, check them out guys. Again, this review is not sponsored. Uh, I picked up this sample, I think in one of my orders I received uh, from a while back. It's been kind of sitting on the shelf again, kind of like last uh, review of GNC's uh, protein, you know, kind of running through samples, kind of running through reviews that are maybe not as popular, but I've always wanted to do because you know, protein is obviously very, very important. I know a lot of you guys are missing the pre-workout reviews. Trust me, I am too. Um, and I'm looking forward to bringing you guys more pre-workout reviews here soon. I hope everyone is staying safe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at the VW Fitness. You can kind of stay up to date with what is going on. And I do plan on posting a lot more and being a lot more active on there. It, it, it's been a bit of an adjustment kind of uh, getting back into the swing of things um, and, and taking a little bit of a break there. I appreciate your guys' support like always. And um, yeah. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave a comment below. I will get back to you. I've been responding super, super fast again. And uh, with that, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe and bell for notifications. And as always, we'll catch you in the next one.